Did someone say KFC? Can I please get four Zinger boxes? Hello, Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Connor Staples, I'm from Whakatane here. I work for Ocean Sports Marine and this is my Zinger. We saw the orange boat and what, what do you name an orange boat? We happened to go through KFC one day. You know, pretty hungry, get a Zinger burger, come back home, work on the boat, we call it Zinger. Yeah, so the country got sent into a lockdown and then just before the lockdown, I managed to pick up the boat and then over the course of the lockdown, we put the boat together, putting absolutely everything into it. So we've got a one kilowatt transducer, stereo with two 200 watt speakers, we've got a nice big head unit, some rad, downrigger, electric, electric reel sockets, bilge pump, live bait tank, so pretty much everything you can think of for a boat this size. So um, I did all the work myself, you know, so I've, I know this boat like the back of my hand. So these boats are quite low to the water, it's like driving a sports car or a roadster, if you would. It's um, you know, quick turns, tight turns, easy, you know, full throttle, hard turn, you know, do a 180 and you're back out the other end as quick as you went in. It's just so versatile. So I can strap it on the back of a car, a truck, tow it anywhere in the country and get out pretty far for a little boat. Oh, I've been out trolling, game fishing, go in close for, you know, inshore species, bit of kingfish, go diving off it. It's a great boat. So it's a basically a nice big superstructure of unsinkable boat. Now all through here you've got you know, pontoon and then that's superstructure round. And then super stable, super strong. Got nice big thick alloy running the whole length of the boat. You know, heaps of buoyancy, you've got no problem at all. You know, people walk over to one side to handle a fish, the boat stays level. So I chose the grey on grey U-Deck Ultralon, which is, it's great, you know, it's not hard wearing on the feet, it doesn't get hot all day, you can lay down, it's not sore. After standing a day on your feet, you know, your feet are still fine and washing it off, that's the best part. It's just quick soap, a little bit of a brush and then it's all fine. It's next level. Like I've had chili bins rubbing on there for hours during car trips and you can see the floor, it's like brand new. So the Ultraline absorbs a lot of sound. For being an alloy boat, it's quite noisy naturally. So here I've got my electric downrigger, great for towing lures at a depth, a dredge or anything you want. Come around, I've got a nice big three-step ladder, put this on myself, it's great for the diving. And then oh, behind the ladder, I've got a custom-built live bait tank, which is great for the kingfish, liveies. So I've custom made this myself, I'm an engineer by trade, and that there doesn't come standard on the stabies, but you can get a plastic alternative. So we come around, we've got the 50 horsepower Yamaha, it does great on this boat, gets it out of the water nicely, tows ski riders, biscuiters. Here we can see my custom bait board again, not standard on a stabie craft, but if you know what you're doing, you could make one yourself. It's great because I can, I can pull off the entire thing and then wash it down, put it back on the boat when it, once it's clean. Now here we've got the Simrad head unit. So I've got the C-map card in here. And you've got high detail of all the rocks and contours through these islands. It's really impressive. I plugged in the SD card into my laptop and then made up the zinger with a photo of the beach or up there, over the hill here. And I loaded it up and it worked. It's pretty cool. And then below that we've got a Yamaha digital gauge, a Fusion RA55, all the switches to control everything on board. And then on the front here, I've put in an electric winch, just to save me anchoring at depths, you know, my arms aren't that big. Oh, so this boat, being an alloy, it's very light. The boat itself would be 500 kilos and the trailer would be an extra 200, 300 maybe. So once you chuck all the gear in, the whole thing's a ton. Oh, it's a great alloy trailer, G-Fab, made reasonably locally. It'll take everything you throw at it. You know, it's a great trailer, you can bash it, get home, it still looks great. So the secret herbs and the spices of this boat would have to be the speakers. You know, I've got a custom seat in there. I've got enough fuel to last me big trips. This whole lot of custom engineering that makes the boat the boat. Mm -hmm.